Fahrenheit is a custom intimate roller coaster located at Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Before we get into stuff about the ride, I should mention I didn't get any footage of this ride except a few pictures. I just wanted to get tons of rides on these coasters at the park, so I'm sure next time I'll get some more footage. Thanks to X Coasters Forever, Coaster Thrills, and We Were Inverted for the off-road shots used in this video. And thanks to Attractions Magazine for the POV used. So, it's located in the very center of the park, and I don't know why, but I like the location it's in. It's probably because you can ride it on your way to the GCI's, the water park, or laugh track. And when you come back, you can ride it on your way to Skyrush, Canyonium, Great Bear, Comet, or Storm Runner, which was closed. But let's not get into that. So, when you get up to the station, you'll notice the ride is no theming. Its theme is the drop it has, and this does have a good drop. It's not the best out there, but it's still really fun. I prefer drops that go up a less steep lift hill, because you can get more whip to the drop in the back. But again, still really fun. The soft best restraints take away from it a tiny bit, but it's not really a huge deal. They have the same restraints as Maverick, and you'll feel it on one particular element, which I'll get to talking about. But I want to talk about this first inversion after the first drop. It kind of turns to the right before it actually inverts to the left. It's a really cool sensation. I don't really know what it feels like. It's kind of like it's going to valley, but you're also traveling fast, which makes for some intensity. But you also get some airtime. It does a few things on the element. And it's my second favorite part of the ride. So after that is when you go through your Norwegian loop, then you go through your Cobra roll, and then your double corkscrew. And these are some of my favorite inversions of all time. They are extremely whippy. The trains are so short and it really just pulls you in every row. It's uh, unbelievable. They're very intense too. You will more than likely grow out. These are insanely forceful. This is one of the more intense coasters I've ridden. And definitely in the state of Pennsylvania. After that you'll go through a thigh crushing airtime hill. This will hurt your legs. This was my 99th coaster credit, and I wanted to make Skyrush my 100th, which I did. And this element really gave me a taste of what I was about to experience. What an awesome airtime hill. It's one of my favorite hills of all time. And then you'll turn around into the brake run. So it's not the longest ride, but it's mostly satisfying. It's so intense and the airtime is so powerful that you kind of need a break. This ride is kind of insane. It's really underrated. I went in with low expectations because Tantrum underwhelms me, but this is a completely different experience. It's more intense, it has a better drop believe it or not, and it has airtime. And this exceeded all of those expectations to the point where yes, I would consider it underrated. Fahrenheit has a great color scheme, its painted color looks amazing along the sky, it has a solid location, and it's really outshined by Skyrush. If that wasn't in the same park. This will get lots more love. It currently ranks number 21 out of 124 coasters ever in, just behind Batman at Fiesta Texas, the free spin, and I'd give it a 9 out of 10 as its score. It's super intense, it has a great drop, it has great airtime, and please do not ever sleep on this ride. It's really good. So that's really all for this review. Thanks for watching, let me know down below what you think, stay tuned for more coaster reviews, countdowns, wraps, and more on this channel. With that being said, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.